Hey guys, how is it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Anyways, we're going to take a look at a kind of interesting little game. Uh, it's called Here Be Dragons, and it's an adventure board game strategy type of game. With it's like a mismatch of, of a whole bunch of stuff. So it's kind of an interesting little concept. It's kind of like an exploration game, like if you're a conquistador, but it takes place before the discovery of um, the New World by Columbus. So don't get tr triggered over Columbus right now. Let's talk about the story. It's a satirical type of story that has you eradicating legendary monsters of the world to allow Columbus to be able to go to the new world and make this discovery. So it's kind of like a, a funny alternative history of events. And it has this look. The graphical art style is actually what caught me the most. But it has this look that looks like one of those old maps. You know, the, the, the brownish tan map color with the ink and the drawings and the boats and everything. It just has its own, like, hand-drawn looking style. I just, to me... I was like, okay, that looks pretty neat. I like historical stuff. I like Pirates of the Caribbean. I like Conquistadors and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, I'm digging the way that this game looks. I mean, it's all completely hand-drawn. And when I see an indie game that tries to do something completely different that's not pixel sprites or some kind of weird cell shading and it thinks outside of the box, I'm all for it. So straight, first and foremost... This game, what caught my attention the most about why I wanted to check it out was the art style. I was like, all right, they did enough to hook me in with it. What is this all about? Well, it's a turn-based strategy game that features a living map type of, of deal. So you go from point A to point B, leading a group of explorers. And uh, so... There's like, you run into different battles. And the way the battles are done, it's kind of like a dice system. So you'll see a cherub like on the bottom and he'll roll some dice. And in order to do a certain move or some kind of certain skill or attack that's featured on the screen, you have to have a number that matches whatever number set is onto that. So you roll the dice, you match the numbers up, you assign them, and then you begin the battle. And it, it plays like a turn-based RPG by that point. So it's kind of... It's like a board game with the sense of the dice being used for the combat and then an RPG with the elements of the of the combat. Uh, and then, of course, it has like some some fun elements and stuff like that. But, yeah, you're able to attack your enemies. You have to use the dice to heal your crew. And uh, it's, it's almost like a random a, a luck of the dice. So you can't just select a certain ability or skill unless you have... The match the matching number on the die so it's like it's like a crapshoot and and i actually thought it was kind of an interesting little concept it did take me a little bit of time to figure that out to to get used to it to pick it up and stuff and um start getting really good at the combat but it was it was pretty neat um now there's uh all sorts of other kind of elements and skills in it and some funny stuff in regards to basically how the narrative works in between the battles and stuff. I don't want to spoil too much in way of it, but it is pretty funny with the whole Christopher Columbus thing and and how the game shows <laughs> how it was different. It, it, it's like, oh, somebody had to take out the Kraken and somebody had to take out this guy and the Leviathan. And it features a lot of those classic mythological sea monsters that you've read about in books and stuff. Um... And, and I just thought it was creative. You know, they did a good style with the art, the living map art style. And then with, you know, the beast and the different enemies and the battles and everything like that. I mean, it was a fun game for what it was. If you're into strategy games, it, it kind of twisted a little bit. Like, I've never seen something with dice. Like, I'm not a big tactical RPG guy or strategy game guy or anything like that. But the way that everything was mismatched in this, I kind of liked the gameplay mechanic. Um, now, it did build up quite slow. So initially, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling it. But again, once I figured the game out, I was like, all right, it's not too bad. So for what it is, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, you might like it yourself. Um, again, Here Be Dragons. Um, interesting little concept and premise, actually. Um, 
I, I didn't, you know, again, I didn't really know much about it except the, uh, the art style, which turned me on to it. And I believe as far as pricing goes, it's about 20 bucks in the eShop. Uh, not physically yet. And it is a Switch console exclusive. This is also shown on the Indie Showcase not too long ago. Pretty sure this is a Switch console exclusive right now. It's on PC, but if you're looking to play it on console, Nintendo Switch is going to be the only place that you can do it. So, uh, I don't know if that's timed or if it's for good. So, it's it's not physical either, so that might deter some of you guys. Um, is it worth the $17.99? Um, I mean that's that's real tough because this typically isn't my genre i don't see myself absolutely going out of my way to buy it uh if i didn't get a review copy which i did for this uh, because it's not my genre it's not my niche but if this is i think you might enjoy it for what it is it's different so comment down below let me know your thoughts on this game subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys on the next one have a great day consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.